hearing the voice of spirit. God has been so misaligned in our thinking. I was told that God punishes you for sin. That is so untrue. There has been so much judgmental preaching. It has been appointed unto man once to die, and after that the judgment. And they stop right there, and then they preach this message about, you know, one day you are going to face that judge. One day you are going to stand before the great white throne and you are going to give account for your sins. And if your sin outweighs your goodness, or whatever, you are going to be cast out to perhaps be tortured eternally. When reading that verse in Hebrews, they stop to soon. This is what it says. It is appointed unto man once to die, and after this the judgment, so Christ was offered to bear the sins of many. Our judgment took place on Calvary. Every Christian denomination will teach that Jesus died for your sins. But they will turn right around and say, But if you don't straighten up, and you don't live like you are supposed to, then when you die, you are doomed. There is no one who has ever taken a breath of air that is ever doomed in God's eyes. The only thing God is going to destroy is that image of yourself, that antichrist spirit that sits in the temple of God thinking that he is a mortal human being. That is the only thing that God will destroy. And he does that through the breath of his mouth, through the words that he will speak to you. That is the only thing that God will destroy, that image of yourself. You may say, O oh brother, the scriptures say that the wicked, God will leave them neither root nor branch. Hallelujah! All the wickedness in me, all the rebellion, everything will be burned up, and what will be left is his seed, the real me. That is what is going to be left. God is going to consume me by the breath of his mouth. The fire of his presence will purify and cleanse every defilement in this temple until one day I stand in the glory manifesting the presence and the essence of all that he is. That is the only thing he is going to destroy. The gospel is the power of God to deliver us. No matter what you do, God is still going to get you. I won't tell you, you won't go through hell. I won't tell you, you won't suffer. I will tell you this, in the end, you belong to God, and He is going to burn up everything in you until you are fully standing in His likeness and image. We are beginning to realize some of the things we have been taught are what will hold us in bondage. Some of the most spiritual men today who are on this planet, most of Christianity are rejecting them. Why? They don't say a whole lot about Jesus. They don't say a whole lot about God. They don't say a whole lot about atonement. I wonder why that is. Let's look at something. Hebrews chapter 6. I hear this all the time. Well these guys, they are teaching you good, but they never mention the blood. They never mention salvation. They don't mention Jesus enough. Listen to what Hebrews says. Chapter 6 verse 1, Therefore leaving, not hanging on to it, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. Of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptisms, and the laying on of hands, and the resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. You show me a church in America that has gone beyond those basic principles. And I'll show you a place where you can go and be spiritually fed and nourished and raised up in the faith. But when you go to church all you hear is how you need to cleanse up your life. How you need to be baptized to be saved, how you need to this, how you need to that. You only need one thing. You need His Spirit quickened on the inside of you, and then stop listening to voices outside, as far as directing your life. I listen today to certain preachers and ministers, so I'm not telling you to shut everybody off. But just know that if you hear something and it doesn't settle right with you. You don't have to receive it, but you might find out three weeks or six months from now that what they said was really right. Or you may never feel it was right. But you have to learn if you want to grow spiritually. You have to learn to use your own discernment, and not somebody else's. That's the only way that students can pass their teacher is to learn to hear God for themselves. Otherwise, you will sit in a church and you'll never go beyond what the preacher can tell you. All the preacher can do is reproduce what he is. If he is not advancing, neither will you, unless you are hearing the voice of God for yourself. Gary Sigler's website http colon slash slash sigler.org